we saw your results in, in Dubai obviously you had a, a really good carnival let's just talk about some of those horses Jackal Bree unfortunately missed out on, on, on World Cup night but uh, how's he been since then? Yeah, unfortunately, he, he just he picked up an injury when he went in Dubai. Um, perhaps uh, the, when the horse uh, flipped over in the stalls, he just he kicked him and uh, he, he damaged a little bit the soft tissue um, of the off four leg, which is taking a little bit time. Um, I don't think we will see him until the uh, end of uh, the summer, and uh, we are hoping he will be fit and well to take him to Australia for uh, another crack to the Melbourne Cup but uh, we just at this stage we can't really make any any more plan until uh, we, we have him in full work. The current stable star is Planter, who collected his second World Cup third placing in March and he will next be aimed at the pre disban Well Planter he did well at in two years he's been third in the Dubai World Cup. He definitely handled the surface and the surface really well and that um, was another good run. Um, he, he came back uh, mid of April so he's just uh, missed uh, the first fly coming back to England and um, so we, we missed the Singapore race. Uh, perhaps uh, we will run uh, in the Pridley Span on the 26th of uh, May. He's well, he's training well, we're really pleased with his condition. And um, obviously on grass he, he wants a little bit he cut in the ground and uh, hopefully um, we will find in France he usually tends to be a, it's never a quick ground so we, we hope we will find his ground. Also a new market on Saturday we saw a, a couple of your stars, Muha Jim found things a little bit too tough for him in, in the guineas. Has he been okay? How's he come out of that race? He's come out well, yeah, we took a chance, uh, um, we have to admit after the race he probably we just it, that a stretch his stamina and uh, uh, last year he showed plenty of speed uh, when he finished second uh, in the middle park and obviously won a Miller Reef in good style, so I think uh, the plan is to drop him back to six furlongs, uh, um, we entered him uh, for uh, the July Cup. Uh, um, he will probably have a race between uh, uh, now and the July Cup, but uh, that is the plan, so we, we go back to six full. One of the yard's newest recruits is the evergreen Dandino, who made a good start to his body career with a battling second in the Group 2 Jockey Club Stakes at Newmarket. A lovely horse. Uh, we, we've been lucky. Uh, the owner uh, bought him uh, with uh, Melbourne Cup in mind uh, and it was a first start so uh, he, ran a, um, he ran a good race. Uh, uh, he was just denied uh, probably a horse was fitter than him. He's been on the going for, uh, for a few months and uh, the first start for us we have to be pleased. Uh, he's come out uh, in very good shape. Uh, um, I think the next target it could be Coronation Cup or perhaps uh, uh, Royal Ascot at the Hardwick Stakes and um, then uh, just um, maybe another uh, race in the summer uh, with the Melbourne Cup in mind. Mm. And going back to Newmarket again, Centurious I thought ran a really nice race in the, in, in the Newmarket Stakes. Uh, what, what, what plans for him? Were you pleased with that effort? Yeah, lovely horse. It's, uh, it's quite a big horse, uh, still probably a little bit weak and immature. He, he ran a good race. Uh, um, he broke his maiden a few weeks uh, um, before uh, the listed race and uh, yeah, I thought he'd come on a lot. And um, I think there's still an improvement to come from him. So we we are hoping he's going to be the stakes horse. So we, we haven't decided he, he holds an entry in the Dante. Whether we go there or somewhere else, uh, we will decide in a week. Uh, Thank you.